All right, hello, it's Tuesday, March 31st. Um, hopefully everybody was able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. In Wisconsin here, back to another uh, cool day today, uh, but hopefully you turn the tides here quickly. Uh, workout today, uh, we're gonna do a 10 minute uh, workout today. It's, uh, I've got a list of a few different things here for us to do, and uh, we're gonna go through as many rounds of this um, workout as possible. Um, if you're kind of keeping track of your workout, each exercise, so again, there's six, seven exercises. Um, each exercise has a rep count, so if you finish one round, you put one round on there, um, and then say you got uh, done with the first exercise into round two, so you'd have one round plus 20 repetitions because you finished all 20 reps uh, the first workout. This is going to be important for the end uh, when we talk about tracking your workout. Uh, so keep that in mind. So uh, today's workout, again, 10 minutes, as many rounds as possible. One round is going to be 20 plank jacks, which I'll show you what that is in just a second. Uh, 10 split squats. So we've done those uh, on the chair with one leg up on the chair again, but I will show the modifications for that. Uh, that'd be five on each side. Uh, then we're going to do 20 mountain climbers. Again, I'll show you shortly. Uh, 10 dumbbell flies. So I've got some dumbbells laying on the ground here. Um, not really a modification for bands on this, but if you've got like two cans of soup, two water bottles, something that can have uh, I want fairly light weight on this, I want to move through these uh, relatively smoothly and quickly, so nothing too heavy. Um, so don't worry about those uh, as far as going very heavy. Uh, good mornings are next, can be very similar to our banded deadlift, uh, but I'll show you how we change it to be what we call a good morning. I'll also show you a dumbbell variation or a different weight if you have anything that you can. Put up onto your shoulders for that. Finishing off, we haven't done them in a little while with 10 burpees. So, uh, so I'm going to hit a clock continuous for 10 minutes. Uh, once you finish those 10 burpees, you start back up with the uh, 20 plank jacks. All right. Um, so you will you'll hear our start beep and a finish beep, and that's all you have. So I might play a little music as we're going through this process. So first one, 20 plank jack. Okay. So a plank jack is the same thing that we look at for uh, doing an actual plank. So we'll be up on our arms here. You can go forearms down here if you'd like. Okay, but we're going to be in this position, and we're going to do the jumping jack motion with our lower body. So we start with our feet together, feet out. One. So out in would be a repetition. So 20 of those. One, two, three, so on and so forth to get those 20 repetitions. Okay? 10 split squats. Five on each leg. So again, foot up on the chair here. You can go just body weight, okay? Five on each side. If you want to make it more dynamic and you don't have a, a weight to make it more dynamic for you, come down, up fast, a little bit of a jump, okay? Or you can add a weight in that front rack or a lower position right here, okay? So five on each side. Then we're gonna get into 20 mountain climbers. So we're again, Back into that push-up position. Okay, we're going knee to elbow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. So each movement is one repetition. So right, left would be two reps, not just one rep. Okay, so we have 20 of those. 10 dumbbell flies. Okay, so we're using a little bit lighter dumbbell. We're laying on our back. The bells are going to be extended up over top. Uh, of our chest and just nice and smooth lower them down touch the back of your hands bring it back up down and up just a slight bend in those elbows if you'd like okay so you've got 10 of those good mornings so 20 repetitions what makes it different than our banded deadlift is the resistance is going further away from our flexion point or our fulcrum point here. So when we're doing the deadlifts, it's nice and tight and close to that fulcrum, okay? Not as much core challenge, okay? Putting this up onto our shoulders, we put that resistance up higher in our body, further away from that fulcrum point, a little bit harder, okay? So we're gonna put that up on our shoulders so it looks like this. And again, the back, Stand up straight up, slight bend the knees, and back up. Okay, so you have 20 of those. How do we would do that with a dumbbell? 
or something like that. Hang on, do it there on your back. You know, okay, so that's how we do a good morning with a band or with any kind of resistance. It can be jack of potatoes if you want it, okay? Finishing off with 10 burpees. Again, we've done these a couple of times. Chest to the deck and up, okay? Modify straight arm. Modify more onto a chair. Back up, okay? So again, if you need to pause it, uh, pause the workout right now. Uh, get everything done you need done as far as getting your equipment set. Give it a quick run through, one maybe two or three repetitions of each movement. Make sure you're comfortable with the movement. And then once you're ready, hit play. And let's get ready to run, okay? Warm up, okay? Don't want to forget the warm up. So let's do that quick and then we'll give you some time to practice these movements. So we're gonna do our joint by joint. We've done this a couple times. Start with our neck, just go up and down for 10 reps. Good, side to side. Good, shoulder rolls, 10 forward, 10 backers. Backwards. Let's go 10 forward arm circles. Backwards, palm up. Hip rotations. Okay, let's go with some squats, five of them. Good, leg swings, 10. Good, other side. Let's go with some ankle circles, five each direction. Other side. Okay. And then 10 rackers, tiptoes, heels. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. So we got those joints warmed up a little bit. Shake them out. Uh, again, a couple reps through each movement. Make sure you're comfortable with it. And we'll be starting here in just a couple seconds. Make sure you have your water by your side. All right. So we are going to start here. I'm going to get some music going for myself to get through this. All right, we're starting in 10 seconds. Starting off 20 plank jacks. Here we go, 10 seconds.
under the flies. Finish off round one. We are halfway done with this workout.
Picking up on that seven minute mark. Two minutes. Let it end. Right. Ten minutes is up. Again, if you want to make it harder, just lengthen out your time. If you want to do this again, make it harder. I think ten minutes, consistent movement, is a good way to go. So, um, after you're done, uh, I want you to put in comments for the workout how many rounds and reps you did. All right. So. I finished, for example, I finished three rounds and then I got uh, 30 reps and I did the 20 split jacks and the 10 split squats. So my score would be three plus 30. Okay. On Friday, I'm going to check whoever put comments in with their score. Uh, you're going to win a $20 gift card 
the Rogue Fitness, the virtual card. It'll get emailed to you. You can use it for whatever. Um, you know, go towards some dumbbells. You know, they have a lot of all the all different types of equipment out there. So $20 Rogue gift card at stake here. Put your score in comments at the end of the week. Whoever is signed up for that, uh, I will draw one of those names and you'll get the gift card. Okay, cool down. Get those hips stretched out here a little bit. So we're stepping one leg, really long through that back leg, trying to get a 90 degree shin angle here. And we're just gonna sink this elbow down towards the ground. And then have that left hand or the hand that with the foot zip forward, planted right next to it, reaching up to the ceiling. Good, and let's exercise. As you can tell, that thoracic spine rotation definitely struggled for me. All right. I'll go down towards the foot. And reach up. Next, we're going to get into this call a little bit of a straddle position here, uh, saddle position, excuse me. So we're sitting back on our heels, and we're just sitting our body back, stretching those quads. Nice deep breaths from this position here. Some of you that have good flexibility, I'm going to go lay all the way back on this, not this guy. Come up, we're gonna get the hand wrist through here. Come up, get those flexors and extensors in the forearm here. Make sure your thumb doesn't float on that. Make sure that thumb's up in there. Go to the other side. All right, and that's a wrap for today. Have a great day. See you all tomorrow.